Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. It is Monday. It is April 24th. House Bill 1240 is sitting on Governor Jay Inslee's desk and has many of you wondering, is it going to be signed into legislation today? I think the answer is no. I think I can explain why the answer is no. And I think your next best chance of seeing this signed into legislation is probably tomorrow, April 25th. So today, let's spend a few minutes and get you all up to speed on, is Jay Inslee going to sign Washington's assault weapon ban today? Okay, before we get going down the road, we're going down. Proud to announce that this video is being brought to you by Security Gun Club. That's right, Washington's nicest indoor shooting facility is located right here in Woodenville. Now listen, I'm not going to be talking to you about the facility or the people or the training, all of which is the best in the business. What I'm going to be talking to you about is our first ever Freedom Friday event coming up this Friday, April 28th. It's from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We have programming starting in the late afternoon, running until about 6.30 in the afternoon. Bring yourself bring your checkbook because all of the money that we raise that day is going to be going to the Silent Majority Foundation to help fight the lawsuits that it's going to try to stop some of the insanity that came out of Olympia. So that is once again Freedom Friday this Friday April 28th at Security Gun Club 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information visit my good friends at securityguncloud.com. That is security with an E securityguncloud.com. Okay, so the issue we're talking about, and I admit that this has been a moving target and we have been trying to follow this around and have failed miserably at trying to predict when is House Bill 1240 going to be signed into legislation? Now, we've said all along that Governor Inslee is certainly going to want to do this after he assembles all of the celebrities that he wants to assemble to make a big old media circus out of it. Today, Monday, April 24th, would have been an excellent day. However, when we check the governor's calendar right here, you will see that he has no bill signing scheduled for today. So as of Monday, April 24th, there are no bill signing scheduled. Now there are bill signing scheduled for tomorrow, April 25th, and so we're gonna have to very carefully watch that. What's the holdup? Well, the holdup we think might be the Blake fix. What is the Blake fix? Well, for those of you who lived in Washington State for a while, you will know that our Washington State Supreme Court a few years ago struck down Washington's felony drug possession laws as being unconstitutional. Now, despite the fact that it could have been fixed by merely adding one word to the statute, our state legislature has seemingly struggled with this issue for several years. Now, it appeared that there was a bipartisan agreement last night to iron out all the differences on that and finally put some teeth back into Washington's drug possession laws. I mean, it's not like we have a drug problem here in Washington state. It's not like it's leading to any other types of other criminal behaviors and other problems for lawful and responsible citizens. However, in the 11th hour last night, the De Democrats, for whatever reason, decided to pull their support of that bill. And so now that is all up in the air and so the governor is working frantically trying to get some piece of legislation back in place to put a little bit of teeth into felony drug possession laws. So those on the gun grabbing left are going to have to reconcile all those differences as it relates to felony drug possession laws before they can get back to the business of disarming you. Therefore we believe that the soonest that House Bill 1240 will be signed into legislation is tomorrow, Tuesday, April 25th. There is both a morning and afternoon session scheduled. Nothing has been put on the calendar yet. You have probably about 24 hours to stock up if you so desire. Listen, you may have more questions about House Bill 1240 or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. If you do, you should know how to contact Washington Gun Law by now. But if you don't, that's okay. All of that information is in the description box down below. In the meantime, I want on all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner like we talk about all the time here at Washington Gun Law is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.